Hello beautiful, thank you for clicking my video. The wig that I have today was sent to me from Promptly Polish. I will leave the information to the wig that I have today including their website and social media links in the description box. Promptly Polish is a black owned company who focuses on helping to build a community based on meaningful relationships between black entrepreneurs and the buyers who commission their artistry. On their website, you will see that they work with independent wig makers and designers around the world that make great quality wigs so you get your money's worth. One of the lovely wig makers Promptly Polish paired me with for today's wig show and tell name is the Drea Michelle brand. If I can get a coupon code, I will be sure to put it in the description box as well. This is a custom made wig on a sewing machine. The stitching on this wig was neatly done. The Drea Michelle brand even inserted a adjustable elastic band so you can get an extra secure snug fit. The wig also comes with a five x five lace closure. The lace is lighter than my skin, but I'm going to try my best to tint it to my skin color so the lace isn't so noticeable. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the packaging. I love how the Dre and Michelle brand customized this wig. The hairline and parting space comes pre-plucked, the knots come bleached, and the baby hairs come swooped. Now I'm about to customize the wig to my liking. The temperature that I have my Andis hot comb on is 20, and I'm just going to touch up the hairline and the parting space. The parting is flat. It can't get no flatter than that. But with the hot comb, I would like for it to show the jagged effect of the plucked hairline. So I'm just pressing down by the roots, making it nice and smooth, but I'm not running the hot comb all the way through. Now I'm using my Paul Mitchell wide tooth comb and just combing out the curls that came with the wig. If you guys are also wondering, does the wig come exactly like mine when you order it? It does. The Dre and Michelle brand go ahead and customize the wig for you already. I brought this item from Five Star Hair. Five Star Hair also works with Promptly Polish and this was one of the best purchases I ever made. It's to help touch up your curls. You just insert the tool on top, wrap your hair around the stick, Put the scungies at the bottom, leave it in there for four to five hours or the next day, and then boom, you have a beautiful heatless curls. So first I'm going to lightly damp the hair. I am not drenching the hair in water, just misting it with the 360 spray bottle. It is nothing but warm water in that bottle. If anyone is curious on how I hook my adjustable elastic band, it's very simple. You just slide the hook right through the other side of the elastic band towards the end. And if you want to make it more snug or loose, you just move that little plastic part up and down like a bra strap. And that's how you adjust it. So this is what the hair curling tool look like. You get this long, soft cotton stick, two scungies, and then a clip. I put the wig on myself, I split the hair in the back, and I twist the hair around the curler thing. I'm not sure what to really call it. I didn't go into details on how I did it. I just wanted to try it out first because it was my first time trying out. But I promise to have another video where I show you how to wrap the hair around the curling thing so you can get the heatless look.
A few of you may have seen this bonnet before, before this video. This is where I got the bonnet from and I must say I love it. And I love how it has the two strings in the back so I can tie it around the edges to make it a little bit more tight. I'm gonna cut the lace off while it's still on the mannequin. I moved the baby hairs back, used eyebrow scissors and take my time and cut right along the hairline in zigzag motions. I was gonna take the tools off while it was on my head, but I was like, nah, what I'm doing? Let me just take it off now. And look how simple it is. I removed it and the curls just stuck right through. I was actually surprised. Now it's time for the install. To get the lace to blend out my skin more, I'm just going over the hairline with leftover makeup foundation that I had on my brush from earlier and just wipe it on top of the lace. Okay, beautiful, right here is my end results. This is definitely a look that I would wear every day. I'm usually a color two kind of girl, but this jet black hair looks and feels like really good quality hair to me. The wig already came pre-customized. The hair is dyed to black and freshly washed with curls. The hairline comes pre-plucked. The knots come bleached. And I'm talking about that really good, good bleach knots. Like, they did not miss a knot. The baby hairs come swoop. The closure comes parted in the middle and is very flat at the top. The wig is just sitting on my head. If you would like the lace to blend in a little bit more with the skin, then I recommend using glue or hard hold spray. But this is definitely a beginner friendly wig for people that will like to skip the customization to getting your wig looking flawless. The length of the wig is 26 inches. To me, it is true to length and my height is 5'6". The density of this wig was made with four bundles and a five by five inch lace closure. The density of the wig is thick and like I said before, it's custom made on a sewing machine. The Jerry Michelle brand can take your head measurements and make a wig that will be a perfect fit for your head. At the time, I didn't get to send my full head measurements to her, so the wig is a bit small. You can see the band in the back, but I'm still trying to make it work for this wig show and tell. There is two tracks in the back and the wig cap showing towards the crown area. But if I was to wear this wig another time, I will make sure to take some of that closure at the top and just comb the back if I was to split the hair. I feel like it's still cute. I wish there was a track there, but hey, I would still rock this wig. When I was styling this wig, I got very low shedding. As you guys saw, the shedding was super duper low. And I got a few snags of tangling when I was first combing out the curls when it came, but it came right out with the wide tooth comb. 
this hair looks so good and it feels good the texture of it is silky it looks silky and i feel like the way the quality feels you can get a lot of wears with this wig especially with the proper care what really helped the star of the show come alive today was that heatless curler tool i used i'll leave the item website link in the description box but it really comes in handy for touching up curls. I also like how I can play with the layers in the front to make the hair lay away from my face or like right here, comb the layers towards my face. I'm not sure if you see the difference, but when the hair lays towards the face, it also helps take the distraction off of the lace. I love the amount of parting space that the wig comes with. It looks very natural. You can see the thick band in the back of the lace, but that is fixable. You can color it with black makeup powder or mascara. It's fixable, boo. It's fixable. I can fix it. I can fix you. <laughs> I need to stop watching you. But this is it, and I really hope you like. Like, oh, this looks so good. Like I said, I feel like you can see my lace, but only because it's not melted all the way in. This is what the right side part look like. I'm not really too much of a fan of the right side part, but I just wanted to show it for anybody that is curious if you get tired of the middle part and you want to switch it up. And for the hairline, this is what the hair looks like blowing in the wind. You can see that gray piece of lace right there, but that is fixable. All I have to do is cut it off. And then that's what the other side looked like. Remember, this is a closure wig and not a frontal wig. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.